Best-selling author Michael Lewis is no stranger to tackling complicated issues in his books. His latest book, The Premonition, A Pandemic Story, is just out in paperback. Lewis investigates why the U.S. struggled with its coronavirus response despite being considered one of the best-prepared countries in the world. He also just launched season three of his podcast, Against the Rules. Michael Lewis joins us first on CBS Mornings. Welcome back. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. Good to see you. So you say that we are worse prepared now for another pandemic than we were in March of 2020. How is that so, and how can we change that? I think just as a... As a culture, we have not wrestled with what just happened. Mm, I mean, yeah. that's the thing that it just amazes me, that I think there's like, you've got to first accept that you failed, that you, when you have 4% of the world's population and 20% of the deaths, and you have more resources going in and more knowledge in how to deal with it, that something was wrong. And we haven't actually, there's been no postmortem explaining mm. like, I mean, there are weird things that happen out there. Mm. The, why is the death rate in Miami triple the death rate in in San Francisco, like what was the what what worked, what didn't work, and in, in, on top of that, people have dug in their heels. Like like I think that in the beginning of the pandemic, the country could have been led, could have been led to a different place. Instead, it's it's divided. And if you come in now and you try to I don't know close schools in yeah. response to something more dangerous, wearing a mask, act, wearing a mask, getting a vaccine, you got people's their heels are dug. There's in. a stubbornness. There's a stubbornness. Yeah. So so it I, there's like a a public education thing that didn't happen in the beginning that would be harder to do now because people think they know. Yeah. But isn't it that people do know something and there are two political strains here and some people are valuing freedom over a pure public health approach? There's some truth to that, but what do you, you know, freedom freedom to do what? To do whatever they want. Freedom to infect yeah. other people yes, and kill right. them? Yeah. I mean, that's not really, that's a very perverted idea of freedom, right? I mean, I think that it's... It's, there was this false dichotomy that was introduced very early on that we were choosing between like the economy and health. And the truth is it was never a choice. That if, you let, if you'd let this thing run in the beginning, the way it ran in New York, you'd have had neither. I mean, that, 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 that constraints on the freedom actually enable the economy to motor along a bit. So I, I think that, like, that wasn't explained. Mm -hmm. Anyway, all this is very grim. What was so interesting to me about this story, it's all, which all takes place kind of before the pandemic, was it's amazing the talent we had that we didn't use. And like that, the people yeah. who we had yeah. who were sitting in places waiting to be accessed. Who knew stuff. Who knew no, stuff. No, you call them the experts. You said experts, in your words, suck at telling their own stories. And sometimes they even have trouble making the information that they know interesting, that it, it, quite often it can be very boring. So whenever there's a crisis, you say go to the L6 person, the person who's at level six. Don't go to the top person. Go to the L6 person who actually knows what they're doing. So this is the podcast that's just come out. The yes. Against the Rules podcast. And it's it's about experts. And it's sort of like exploring our problem. You know, we're really great at creating knowledge. And as a society, we're, like, fantastic. We're the best in the world. Mm -hmm. We're not so good at figuring out how to use it and or even know who has it. And one of, the, one of our stories in the podcast is just about this. It's about in, when you're in complicated systems, government agencies, big corporations, and some crisis happens, some problem happens. The guy, it's not the people on the top who have the answer. It's, it's usually some very specialized expertise that's buried six levels down mm -hmm. in the organization. And what tells you, you know, what's interesting is, so why does that, that person down here have so much trouble getting what they know up here? Right. So you can, this is partly the pandemic story. We had people down here who in know. public health who knew what to do, and they couldn't get it into the heads of the people up here. And I think it's related to inequality in that if you, when you have big gaps between one and two and two and three, yeah. and all of a sudden level six doesn't feel like they need to talk to level yes, one. Yes. And so part of our problem with expertise, I think, is a problem with inequality, is yeah. that the more inequality in the society there is, the harder it is for the person who actually knows something, who might not have a lot of status, yeah. who might be less like someone, a, no, a so, supposed nobody. nobody. But yeah. they're the superstar. But they're the superstar. Yeah. Right. And, and the trick is, like, finding those people. At level six. And, yeah. and we're glad that we found you. Yeah, we you appreciate you. Yes. You're one of the best at taking something complicated and making it so exciting. Michael Lewis, yeah. the paperback edition of The Premonition and season three of the podcast Against the Rules is available now. We'll be right back.